Season 5 is here in MLB The Show 23, and I have unlocked my first 2023 Finest card. The first card I went for right away was none other than 99 overall Trey Turner. It's Trey Turner in MLB The Show. I I've got to go out of my way to get him. He's always good. He's one of the new players available in Team Affinity in the NL East. I also unlocked 99 overall Ozzy Albies. Switch hitting middle infielder Ozzy's always a little bit glitchy. I had to get this card. You can find him as the new reward in the core collection. That's right, they finally added some Thing to this part of the game it's been pretty much obsolete since like set two so it's nice to see a new card in here although i did kind of find it funny that sds on their stream was hyping up the fact that he's a core card when that like literally doesn't matter anymore <laughs> I also got 99 overall Pete Alonso. You can find him in the Team Affinity Collection for getting 20 cards. There's also a bunch of Retro Finest cards, and I want you to look at this 99 Yasmani Grandal. Look at this card! Yes, I know he has 79 vision, all right? It's not great, I get it. But Diamond Fielding, Max Power, 110 Clutch as a switch hitting catcher? I mean, dude. He's pretty good. There's also a couple other finest in here. Gary Sheffield, Matt Holliday. I have AJ Burnett as my starting pitcher for this video. Uh, Brooks Raley I got in the XP reward path. So I'm going to jump into a game with this squad, and we're going to talk about some of the other parts of the content today that I like. So let's get into it. I'm searching for a game right now, but I just want you guys to know that I will be streaming tonight on Twitch maybe on youtube as well i'm still trying to figure out how to set up the multi-streaming stuff but definitely expect to see me live on twitch later tonight grinding out some of this season five content and also i know the baseball season is over but the seat geek code still works if you're going to any basketball games football games concerts whatever it is code coogs will still save you 20 dollars on any of your tickets all right we're taking on 99 cliff lee trey turner getting an at bat right away come on trey start off the new season with a bang Get me on Fortnite, dude. Nice. <laughs> this is just the way I wanted to start things off. Okay. AJ Burnett is usually a pretty fun pitcher to use. I like his pitch mix most of the time. And usually sequence pitches pretty well off of one another. That was good. Well, season five is off to a phenomenal start for me. Come on, Yasmani. Can you get the offense started? How the hell am I late on that? Why am I sw Bro, what is happening? I, I can't hit the ball. Six batters and not one good at bat. What is going on? I want to start talking about some of this new content, but I refuse to do it until I put up a good at bat. That's better, even though it's going nowhere. Finally, a hit. Oh, we are tied. Leave it to the three cards in my lineup that are not part of season five to have the best at bat. God, Fernando crushed that ball. All right, Trey, come on, fresh game. It's a hit. Look at that, perfect, perfect. Let's go, Ozzy, it's your turn, dude. Okay, well, now we're back to reality. All right, well, now that I actually put up at least one good at bat, let's start talking about some of the content today. Let's break down season five. I want to start it off with Team Affinity because I actually think they handled Team Affinity really well. My God, dude. But yeah, everybody in Team Affinity now is 99 overall, except for the captains, of course. I feel like it would have been nice to maybe see the captains go up to like 97, kind of like they did in the final monthly awards program but at the end of the day i'm not really you know all that upset about captain staying at 95 but the henchmen are all 99s that's where those retro finest cards are and there's a lot of really cool ones in there you know we finally got you know 99 jimmy rollins back we finally got 99 george brett i'm using that yasmani grandal for the angels there's a cole calhoun which will be fun for the all-time angels there's plenty of good retro finest cards and as i talk about this content i'm not going to talk about every single thing but i will just mention some of the things i like some of the things that stand out to me but of course the real star of the show for team affinity this time around 
is the 2023 finest card all of them are 99 overall there's no 97s in team affinity to be found thank the lord it only took them until november to figure out that people don't like grinding so many hours for cards that are not 99 overall but hey better late than never but team affinity has guys like 99 lindor 99 mike trout nolan gorman corbin burns matt mcclain a lot of really good cards in there and so you know you go for team affinity just like you always do but they actually made some really nice changes to the way you can grind they you know Okay, dude, AJ Burnett sucks. He does not have a good out pitch. I'm sorry. I know that wasn't a good slider, but I, I, I don't want to use this card anymore. I thought I would like him way more than I do. Dude, come on. What is this? Okay, dude, maybe this guy's just elite. I'm not going to get him at home. Mike, it's six to two, man. What was I talking about? Oh, team affinity. Yeah, they toned down the grind a little bit. So now there's only two showdowns instead of three there's one for each league and if you complete the showdown you get progress in all three divisions for that league and same thing with conquest there's only two conquest maps now so that automatically helps out the grind that's way less showdown and conquest that you have to play then they made the stats and parallel xp missions a little easier there's not as much that you have to do the exchanges are still there but Probably the best part is the fact that there's now online specific missions that you can exchange for vouchers when you complete them. We've been asking for ways to earn Team Affinity progress online specifically for a while now, and they finally gave us that option. So overall, I think Team Affinity is really solid this time around. They listened to a lot of the critiques we had. They addressed a lot of the critiques we had. And I know for some people, it's gonna be too little too late, but for the people that are still playing, it's really nice changes. Bro, can I not hit into double plays? Like, why am I so bad right now? What else do we have? We have new Team Affinity Collections. And at the 90 uh, card collection, when you get all of the Team Affinity cards, 99 Cody Bellinger. And look at this guy. This is probably the best Bellinger ever, which is kind of funny because he has that legendary finest card from 2019. And his 2019 season was like, significantly better than this season so i don't know i'll take it though and speaking of collections we got three new collections for season five and i gotta say these choices were i don't know they, they felt a little weird to me it's otani Bo bichette and Contreras. now all three of these cards definitely look solid Bo looks good otani you kind of know what you're getting and Contreras looks nice but i don't know the choices for them being like the set collections are just a little I don't know, they just feel a little odd to me. Particularly because there are other cards that, you know, we kind of anticipated. Maybe like a 99 Willie Mays. I feel like a retro finest Willie Mays would have been a really nice card to have as one of the three collections, considering we haven't had a good 99 Willie Mays in literally two years. The last time we got a good Willie Mays was MLB 21. We got the Takashi card in 22, which was mid. And then we got the Say Hey Kid card this year, which... Looks a lot like the Takashi. And then the 97 snapshot card. Like, where is Willie Mays? Why does SDS hate Willie? There we go. That's what we need to start off an inning. Now, of course, this is not the only content that we're getting this season. Of course, we're going to get more Battle Royale rewards, more event rewards. So there's always the opportunity for these guys to get better cards. I'm just saying, it's November. We don't have a good Willie. Like, what, what, what gives? Why? There we go. Trout, this is the inning we need. Come on, we got to cash these guys in. There we go. Mookie bets. It's a one-run game. 424. That's the swing I've been waiting for since Tatis' last at-bat. Trey, it's time. Let's see it. Man, I just don't have good at-bats with Trey Turner now. The two guys that I literally put on the thumbnail of this video I haven't done anything. All right, what else do we have? I've talked about team affinity. I've talked about collections, all that stuff. Ooh, here's something, something that was really exciting to see. 4070 milestone Acuna. Card looks awesome. Now we all kind of knew that we were gonna get a better Acuna in season five, whether it was a finest, whether it was an awards or something like this. So this was not a surprise, but I think the surprise came for a lot of people when they revealed how you unlock this card. When they were showing him, a lot of people were automatically assuming that this guy would be a chase pack player. Kind of with how SDS has done it this year, like it seemed like it would be that route. But no, 
Acuna is available entirely for free. You can get him at a little over 400,000 XP in the XP reward path. So yeah, you got to play the game a little bit, but you can still get him without spending a single stub, which is great. All right, he's got a couple lefties coming up soon. I'm going to get Brooks Rayleigh in the game here. Double play. Beautiful Brooks Rayleigh. But going back to Acuna really quick and saying that it was kind of surprising that he wasn't a chase back. Alonzo! 402 feet. Man, we brought it all the way back. But yeah, Acuna being free was kind of a surprise to a lot of people. But speaking of chase packs, we did get a new chase pack with a new player. 99 Reggie Jackson World Series MVP card. He's cool. I don't really think I'm going to go out of my way to get him. There's just so many outfielders that I genuinely just perform better with so i don't need to you know spend the huge price tag to get him i'm sure i'll use him for all-time teams and stuff yeah my one gripe is yes it is a world series mvp card it makes total sense i kind of felt like he was the perfect guy to get an incognito card i feel like mr october is such a iconic nickname i feel like that would have fit his card really well but it's cool world series mvp is fine yeah that's that's mainly it for like the content that i really want to talk about today there's one other thing that i do want to bring up uh and that is the fact that they finally added rewind packs to rank seasons and battle royale some of those rewards from previous sets were just getting ridiculous on the market in terms of their price and there was no way to earn these cards like if you didn't play that specific BR program or that specific season. And I guess kind of my closing thoughts on season five is, you know, like there, there are definitely things you could nitpick. There are certain cards that are really underwhelming, like Jazz Chisholm is really bad for a finest card. You know, you, you can critique the game like you can with any content drop. But for me, in my opinion, I feel like SDS did a lot of good with this content drop in terms of just changing up the way you can grind for things, or at least making the grind easier and, you know, not as time consuming. To me, stuff like that was going to be more important than like, you know, who's the best card or what cards we got in general. Like, I know a lot of people are still disappointed that we are just getting a lot of the same players that we got in previous seasons or sets. And that just kind of is the way the game is. Like, if you're not a fan of the way the game is, like, nothing is going to change in this game enough to make you jump back on and be like, oh, it's different now. This is MLB The Show 23. It is what it is. And for what it is, I feel like this is a pretty solid start to the season. So, God, dude, this guy is so frustrating to pitch to. I just don't know what the out pitch on him is. Every time I think I have him on the ropes, he just hits a freaking nuke, dude. Does that have enough? It does. Mike Trout ties the game. Let's go. I'm done talking about content. It's time to lock in and win a game. Oh, I missed that. No way, dude. Come on, Trey. You got to do something. Dude, what is going on? Come on, Ozzy. This is all you. Jesus, dude. That's... Oh. One twenty-five power. Nice. No, dude. Oh my God. Give me a double play. I don't know, man. This guy is the king of hitting the ball oppo. Hey, I don't know. Not much I can do about that. That's that's a great pitch. That's a perfect location, and he put up a perfect swing. Nothing I can do there. Oh, we got three outs to play with. We got to get two to tie. Come on. That's a bad swing. All right. Yeah, that last out was just the, the cherry on top of a really fun game of Diamond Dynasty. Nice. Season 5, it's here.